Hey, Steve. Um, I'm curious if you. Hey, how are you? Good. I'm curious if you've had the opportunity to check in with Clay recently and just how he's holding up uh, mentally and emotionally. Yeah, we've talked a couple times. I went down there, uh, you know, the day after his injury, and so I was with him when um, he got the diagnosis from. Uh, Dr. Ferkel, Rick Celebrini, and I went down there, and um, and then we've texted uh, since then quite a bit. And um, you know, he's hanging in there. It's obviously a devastating blow to uh, for for Clay. I mean, as much as he loves to play, and as much as he was looking forward to getting back to this season, um, it's just a cruel uh, twist of fate for him to have to go through this again. So um, we'll just keep checking in on him. I know his teammates are checking on him and uh, we hope that uh, before too long, he'll be able to, to be back up here with his teammates and, and uh, we'll get him in here to you know start his rehab and he can at least uh, be, be part of the group. And that's, that's the plan. But uh, you know, more than anything, we all just feel uh, devastated for him uh, because he, he deserves better. Steve, I expect a, a glowing compliment about my background before your answer, but I wanted to know how you plan on managing Steph's minutes. You've always been pretty protective of your stars and keeping them down. Does that does that remain consistent, or because he's your, I guess, primary scorer, you might increase that a little bit? Well, the objective going in would be to keep it around. You know, wait, 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 wait. What happened to the background compliment? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were complimenting me on my background. No, I was saying I expected a glowing Marcus. background compliment on my background since Logan got one. You right. know. Why are you late? Yeah, yeah, just leave Logan out of this, Marcus. Uh, I will compliment you on uh, a scar for the underneath side of your hood. I like the colors in there. Yes. It's the inside of the hood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. I'll one. settle for that. I'll settle for that. I can't see the see the, the quality of the books that you have on your shelf well enough to, to be able to compliment on, on that. So that's my design. <laughs> what do we get? Okay. All right. Strauss? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is this is Marcus Thompson, sorry. Okay. We're gonna oh, skip Ma- Marcus Thompson. <laughs> Sorry, we're wasting everybody's time here. That's the goal. Yeah, so so I think, um, you know, the idea going in would be try to keep his minutes around where they've been. Um, it's probably going to be more difficult. I mean, we've always been really blessed with great talent and the, the ability to give our starters a lot of rest. We've been blessed over the years to uh, – to have a lot of blowouts where Steph didn't have to play the fourth quarter. Same with Draymond and Clay and KD. And um, we don't have that luxury anymore. So, um, you know, I, I would love to keep his minutes down, you know, at, at, at the 34 range. Um, and uh, we, we know that that's the best thing for him and for us long-term. Um, and that's, that's going to be the goal. Uh, so, Feel free to take shots at me when we have a triple overtime game and I leave them out there for 51 minutes. Is 40 even reasonable? Would you ever push that uh, average to 40 or that's way too much? 40 is reasonable. I just think it's, uh, I think 40 for anybody is is difficult, Um, especially these days, the pace that the game is played with. Um, I I just, I think it's uh, realistically to get the best out of Steph. Uh, and and most players really uh, game to game and and as the whole year goes, um, you know you'd like to keep guys in that thirty four to thirty six range. 